The air we breathe, the water we drink and the food we eat, they all depend on the rich and varied biodiversity of our planet. But recent decades have witnessed steep decline in both the fauna and flora of India. Recently, scientists at the UN Convention on Biological Diversity concluded that every day up to 150 species are lost. That could be as much as 10% a decade. Alarmed, the global community is making all-out efforts to reboot the ecosystem and repair the food chain. India is also doing its bit. On 17 September, Madhya Pradesh Kuno National Park will be welcoming eight cheetahs from Namibia, where an 800 square kilometer enclosure has been prepared for the purpose. We bring you this special report on all these preparations. The reintroduction of the world's fastest animal to the Indian forest is taking place 75 years after the country's last surviving cheetah died in 1947 in present-day Chhattisgarh. Thereafter, the species were declared extinct in the country in 1952. The cheetah reintroduction project aims to re-establish the species in its historical range in India. Let's give you the lowdown on this entire exercise. Yellow coat with black dots, prominent black lines that curve from the inner corner of each eye, flexible spine, semi-retractable claws, long body and tail. They are cheetahs who roam in the open, grassy, savanna plains and open forests. Cheetah belongs to one of the oldest big cat species on the planet known for its speed and agility. Its scientific name is Asinonyx jubatus. Cheetah can reach the dizzying speed of up to 113 km per hour, turning 180 degrees while chasing its prey. A majestic icon of nature, cheetah is the most unique of the 41 species of cats. This magnificent cat populates arid grasslands of Iran and Africa and would soon be in India. This is the first project in the world in which we wild cheetah to reintroduce the wild cheetah. माने प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व में हम अनेक विषयों पे काम कर रहे हैं प्रोजेक्ट एलिफेंट पे भारत ने अच्छी तरक्की करी हमारे 32 टाइ एलिफेंट रिजर्व हो गए हमारे जो टाइगर रिजर्व है 16 को इंटरनेशनल एक्रेडिशन मिला है हमारे डॉल्फिन को लेकर के लॉयन को लेकर के और उनकी संख्या में बढ़ोतरी को लेकर मंत्रालय काम कर रहा है Indian forests will resonate with the familiar growths of these magnificent cats. Eight cats are going to be relocated in India on the 17th of September. These cats are coming from Namibia, which has the highest number of cheetah population across the world. With approximately 20% of world population of cheetah, Namibia is popularly known as the cheetah capital of the world. Initially, they will be kept in quarantine facilities for 30 days. After that, they will be released for in the soft release chambers, uh, which will be from the area of roughly uh, 0 0.7 to 1 square kilometers. After, and they will be given live feed. After that, after maybe uh, monitoring them for one or two months, they will be released in the wild. The project cheetah is basically for five years. And until, and until we maintain a, a viable population of the cheetahs in the entire area, uh, we are going to keep, uh, keep on this activity going on. These cheetahs 
are known as African cheetahs and are different from Asiatic cheetahs found in Iran. This first batch of cheetahs from Namibia would arrive in Kuno Palpur Wildlife Sanctuary in Madhya Pradesh and another batch from South Africa would arrive in October. Prime Minister Narendra Modi would be present at the park for the reintroduction. Cheetah जो भारत से विलुप्त हो गया था, न केवल भारत से, बल्कि एशिया महाद्वीप से विलुप्त हो गया था, अब अफ्रीका से, पहले नाबिबिया से और फिर दक्षिण अफ्रीका से भी यहाँ चीते आएंगे और फिर से चीतों का पुनर्स्थापन होगा। If the project cheetah turns out successful, the cheetah could be considered for reintroduction in other states including Gujarat, Rajasthan, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Retired bureaucrat and wildlife conservationist Dr. M. Ranjit Singh, who was the member of the expert committee on cheetah introduction appointed by the Supreme Court, feels that the real challenge begins now. Bringing in the cheetah is the beginning of the end, not the end. <laughs> Perhaps it is the end of the beginning. <laughs> the work starts now. And that is where the government and the people will have to work together. You see, <clears throat> it's not just you release them and walk away. They'll have to be handled for a while. It took two to three hundred years to get the animal extinct. Give it 20-30 years to re-establish itself. All across the globe, the compelling need of conserving the large carnivores and their ecosystems is being acutely felt as they balance the intricate food chain of nature. Reintroduction, conservation or translocation are gradually being used as tools to halt or reverse the decline. With Project Tiger, Project Lion and Project Elephant, India has over the past few years arrested the decline of these critically important species. The Project Cheetah in India rolls on as per International Union for Conservation of Nature guidelines. The Project Tiger, you have seen it is one of the best in the entire entire world out of 52 uh, tiger reserves uh, 70 have already been, already been classified as under the uh, cats category uh, the number of tigers has also increased we are you can say the global leaders that way project elephant also has been a huge success we have 32 project elephant areas as of now if project lion also the number of the lions are increasing the area is getting uh, better and better in every way. Similarly, I can see that Project Cheetah will also be very successful. We will be able to have a meta population of uh, meta population and viable population in Kuno Tiger Reserve, Kuno Reserve uh, very soon. Cheetahs are being reintroduced to restore the ecological moorings of Indian grasslands. Their return will check the unbridled growth of herbivores that threaten the open forest ecosystem. Their re-entry is also expected to bring in resources to restore neglected habitats that in turn will promote biodiversity and boost its ability to sequester carbon. Cheetah as a star attraction will promote ecotourism and enhance community livelihood. Cheetahs in Africa have little scope for expansion. Unlike India, where protected sanctuaries offer the big cat both the space and freedom to prosper. The present cheetah translocation is the world's first intercontinental project that begins from Kuno National Park in Shopur district of Madhya Pradesh. The cheetahs will land in Jaipur from Namibia and will be flown to Kuno National Park. They will be released into two specially prepared enclosures in the park. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will release two male cheetahs in one enclosure and female cheetah into another. The cheetahs will be in quarantine for a month before shifting in open. Spread over 748 square kilometers, Kuno National Park is part of the larger Shiopur Shivpuri dry, deciduous, 
open forest landscape spanning 6800 square kilometers Kuno offers the prospect of housing four large feline species of India the tiger the lion the leopard and the cheetah to coexist as they did in the past Kuno still remains one of the best habitat for cheetahs uh, which has all sort of uh, habitat from mountains to grasslands and not many people know that cheetahs are also found in dense forest uh, because lot of perception is given that they only hunt in grasslands but they are also found in all sort of uh, area in southern uh, southern africa the kuno national park currently can accommodate up to 21 cheetahs and once restored the larger landscape can hold about 36 cheetahs this park was originally developed to be the second home for asiatic lions in india besides gir it was selected as habitat for the african cheetah by a supreme court mandated expert committee in 2021 the experts say the climatic niche of the cheetah from southern africa exists in india with kuno national park having a high probability of cheetah habitat suitability the south africans themselves have said that their most successful cheetah rehabilitation sites have been in in grassland forest mosaic where the forest is thicker than in kuno so why are we being naysayers the cheetah will give the habitats in kuno grandia and kunu will give the habitats will give cheeta life the two are synonymous the park is ready with the required level of protection prey and habitat to house the cheetahs the forest department in bhopal has herded 250 cheetal or spotted deer as the prey into the enclosure for cheetahs emmy nominated wildlife filmmaker photographer and conservationist vijay bedi answers all the factors needed for the success of this ambitious project cheetahs are coming after many many years to india they have been feeding on their own prey base in africa but when we talk about india they will be introduced to an entirely new prey base which would be a uh, spotted deer and chinkaras and uh, nilgai and uh, though they are very young which is about 2 to 3 years the maximum is i think to 4 years old so they are well they are wild they are very able to able to hunt these prey base but it will be always a big challenge for cheetahs to adapt in india the population of cheetah in kuno will be managed as a meta population with occasional immigrants brought in from africa adequate arrangements are being made in this regard it's time for a break after the break we shall look at the factors that cause the extinction of this magnificent species in india keep watching sansa tv we'll be back after a short break Welcome back after the break you're watching our special report on the cheetah making a comeback in India. This feline species witnessed around 90% reduction from a century ago. It is the only extinct large mammal in independent India. Only 7000 cheetahs are left in the world. The numbers are down from an estimated 14000 cheetahs in 1975 their population is now confined predominantly to six african countries angola namibia zimbabwe botswana south africa and mozambique the species is already extinct in asia with only about 12 asiatic cheetahs left in the wild in iran 
the number of cheetahs have declined due to many reasons like human wildlife conflict loss of habitat loss of prey and the illegal wildlife trade they are easily visible they are open they're sitting out in the open and so <clears throat> so the cheetah suffered the same fate as the lion the lion were everywhere in during the mutiny somebody some british officer has shot 50 lions near delhi in haryana um so the lions shrunk to just one habitat but they were godfathers for the lion there was no godfather for the cheetah since they primarily occupy areas without dense vegetation cheetahs run in conflict with farmers and become easy targets cheetahs currently also face double whammy as their prey base consisting of antelopes gazelles impalas and warthogs are fast vanishing in the savanna areas the charismatic cheetah species has a deep rooted past in india it was a cat easy to tame kept as a pet and used in hunting antelopes the name cheetah originates from sanskrit meaning the spotted one they are found in cave paintings at kharwai and karabad in madhya pradesh as also at chaturbhujnath in the upper chambal valley these paintings are dated between 2500 to 2300 bc the indian emperors used to tame cheetahs and use them as status symbols we have no records of cheetah population but um <clears throat> jangi records that in his father's time as i said a thousand cheetah at one time and over 9000 cheetahs he, he had in captivity over his period of 50 years of reign so that was the number he had over a 50 years so i mean in those days to capture and there were special places to capture them one of the places was near kunu by the time the british started recording cheetah's existence from around the last decades of the 18th century these cats were heading towards extinction by the end of the 20th century not a single cheetah was left in the country the plight of the cheetah in india was acknowledged by the government of india way back in 1952 during the first wildlife board meeting initially negotiations had commenced with iran in 1970s for bringing the asiatic cheetah to india in exchange for the asiatic lions but the talks could not fructify the discussions to bring back cheetahs were revived in 2009 by the wildlife trust of india in 2010 the central government set up an expert panel for reintroducing the cheetah in india in 2012 the supreme court restrained the implementation of the cheetah reintroduction program and after a long legal battle supreme court in 2020 allowed the center to introduce african cheetah to a suitable habitat in india the project then gathered speed and finally the idea of african cheetah introduction project in india is now turning into a reality on the 17th of september 2022 it is definitely a momentous occasion in the wildlife history of india and a huge step forward in the conservation of our biodiversity in 5 to 6 years the country plans to import and locate 50 to 60 cheetahs in half a dozen reserves and parks across the country and move the animals around for genetic and demographic diversity according to experts cheetah will play a major role in maintaining the health of our ecosystem that's all we have in this special report thank you for watching goodbye namaskar